Washington Closure Hanford recently transported the third of ten highly contaminated cells from Hanford's 327 building to the Environmental Restoration Disposal Facility. The hot cells have been stabilized with grout inside custom boxes and are being shipped to the landfill one at a time on hydraulic platform trailers. Equipment funded by the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act has helped prepare the facility for disposal of the hot cells. The 327 building played a key role in reactor material and fuel research programs. The hot cells were used for testing irradiated materials, particularly fuel elements and cladding in nuclear facilities. The hot cells were removed so demolition of the 20,500 square foot building can begin by late August. To remove the hot cells, a 20 foot by 30 foot opening was cut into the side of the 327 building and a gantry crane that runs on rails was installed. A second gantry crane was installed at the landfill to offload the hot cells. The first and smallest hot cell had a shipping weight of about 124,000 pounds and was delivered to Erdiff on August 7th. The largest hot cell that will be delivered to the landfill is the upper half of the two-story Special Environmental Radiometallurgy Facility, which will have a shipping weight of about 456,000 pounds. Many years of work were required to stabilize the 327 building under a coating of fixative before the hot cells could be removed. The building is located in Hanford's 300 area, about one and a half miles north of Richland.